Get ready for the haul to end all hauls. A lot of good stuff in this one. Here we go. What's up guys? Um, I have a very special uh, unbox here. I'm gonna show you some of the horror Blu-rays that I've picked up recently, a few of those. Um, I have a P.O. box now. That's why I'm le letting this be seen on camera. This is my P.O. box, P.O. box 1124, Melbourne, Florida, 32902. And I've been getting a lot of packages lately. So it's time to start opening some of these bad boys. This one, see, here's the thing. I get a lot of messages. Like, I don't think you guys realize how many messages I get on Facebook. Sometimes I have to like take a snapshot or I have to quickly write the person's name down because I get a lot of requests to send me stuff. And uh, sometimes I'll get the package in and then I'll go scurrying through my messages to see if I can find who sent this. Because all this says here is M. Myers. So uh, this could be just an anonymous person that just wanted to send me stuff because it's out there. My, my P.O. box is right there in my info box. So, but you know, I just wanted to make sure that this wasn't something that I was expecting. It says M. Myers. And there was one thing that I was expecting, but I'm, I'm not sure if this is it or not. So I guess what I can say is if I have had a discussion with you, I know I'm talking too long here, um, kindly put your information in here or put a letter or something in there for me to read so that way I can give you proper credit for what you sent me because I would hate to open something here and not know who sent it to me. And if you send me something anonymously, that's great. And if you don't want to be known, that's fine too. But if you do, put some kind of note in there with your name or something or if you want me to plug something that you have I would love to do that so but uh, this is in Meyer, so I'm pretty excited and uh, I want to open this up but before we get into this I just picked this up uh, because I've been having a lot of audio problems with my screen stream this is an audio technica uh, AT2020 and I got to give a shout out to CP my good friend CP who is on uh, screen stream with me he I asked him what kind of mic he uses. He said this one. This is a very professional sounding mic. I recently used this on kind of a Q&A and the results are amazing. It sounds fantastic. And I had it with this deal right here. So I put that right there and then you'd have that right in front. And so then I'd be talking into the mic like that. But uh, yeah, this thing sounds great. It's a really nice mic and uh, it's gonna be on the next Scream stream, which is for Wednesday night. So hopefully this video comes out comes out on that day. And if you are uh, wanting to get a mic like that, I will put an Amazon affiliate link in the info box so you can go and purchase that mic and it does support the channel. But let me just say, this thing sounds amazing. It really does. Now for some Blu-ray goodness, Cody Leach. Cody Leach, you all know him and you love him. He sent me in the mouth of madness. And this is the uh, Scream Factory release. Look how beautiful that is. Uh, planning on reviewing this this week because I'm going to be putting out a review with Cody Leach and uh, Durbin from Durbania. We're all three going to do reviews, kind of like me and Cody did with Phantasm. There's going to be three separate reviews coming out at the same time, hopefully this weekend. I'm freaking buried, people. Then, um, shout out to uh, Damian Maffey, who played um, uh, the sackhead in The Strangers Pray at Night. He's a good friend of mine. We talk all the time. I'm bragging because I have like a, a good celebrity friend. I got Deborah Voorhees, me and her chat all the time. And now I'm chatting with Damien Maffey. And uh, he ke he keeps telling me, you got to check out Alice, sweet Alice. Uh, so I, I bought that. Uh, and then for myself, I bought the Prowler. I, I had already reviewed the Prowler and um, Gabriel Lewis actually sent me the DVD, but I wanted to upgrade, so I got the Blu-ray. And then speaking of Damien Maffey, um, and another shout out to Stephen Arthur. Stephen Arthur, he always posts these mail day things on Killer Flicks, and he buys a lot of really good deep cut titles that you'll find on Arrow. And uh, you know, I get to talking with these guys, and I'm always looking for good slasher recommendations and just good horror recommendations. I'm really in a Dario Argento mood, so I got Phenomena, and look at that cover, isn't that gorgeous? With Jennifer Connelly and Donald Pleasance. And then Damien Maffey, again, he recommended Madhouse because I reviewed Happy Birthday to me. And he said, if you like Happy Birthday to me, then you'll really like Madhouse. Never heard of this movie. Don't know nothing about it. But there's the Arrow release. Got the, uh, uh, the looks like the Rottweiler on there. Really cool. And then, this is one I always hear about, the initiation. 
So I'm looking forward to reviewing that one. If you follow my channel, you know I love doing slasher reviews. So there's gonna be a lot more slasher reviews coming your way. So now I'm gonna take a drink of my monster. Actually, I'm gonna show you what, Le this is what Levi does. I'm gonna turn on, this is uh, my camera, my vlog camera that I got. And boom, I just turned that on so you can see what I'm looking at. I'm looking at what, uh, what's through this camera right now. And there's my Halloween poster. There's the Hell Knight poster. Those are both from, um, Gabriel Lewis and uh, there's my my lighting umbrellas and if you look over there look at that there's Levi cute little Levi he just hangs out while I uh, sit here and do my reviews you know he doesn't like anybody bothering him but yeah that's what I'm looking at right now and I freaking love this vlog camera I did um, a drum dumps watches with it my last one and uh, it's just so easy to use um, again, I'll put a link for this one too down below if you want to get uh, one of these vlog cameras. They are phenomenal. Great quality. The autofocus is excellent. Can't praise them enough. And speaking of Gabriel Lewis, here's Night of the Demons. I just reviewed uh, this. Uh, that's going to be coming out real soon. Taking a drink of my monster before I get into these packages. Beth S., uh, one of my uh, good friends. Uh, she sent me this nice package. She's really into like VHS and vinyl and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what she sent me. Okay, here we go. The mystery package that says M. Myers. Dying to know what's, what's in this. So cutting it open. And I'm being careful because there might be some fragile stuff in here. Fragile must be Italian. Post in the comments what movie that's from. If you don't know what movie that's from, then you're not a movie fan. Or maybe you're just really young and you don't know. But Most people know that line. Fragile, must be Italian. Okay, um, I think, um, all right, well, it looks like we got some Blu-rays here. Let me look and see if I see a note. I don't see a note. I'm gonna look and see in my messages again. I'm gonna look and see if I can find who sent this stuff because there's a lot of good stuff in here. And if I can find that person's name, I'm going to put it right here. Right here so that I can give them proper credit. And hopefully there's a note wrapped in here somewhere. But uh, uh, Curse of Chucky, one of my favorite Chucky movies. I love this one. Next up, we got the uh, Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, uh, the unrated producer's cut. So you don't have to buy the deluxe edition box set to get the unrated uh, producer's cut. And um, I believe the transfer on this one, the individual re release might be a little bit different. And then we got some DVD goodness, a double feature, Halloween four and five, love it. Okay, um, I have a letter here. Good, we have a letter. Okay, hi Lee, my name is Rob. I've been a fan of your YouTube videos for a while. I used to be a big movie fan, but not much anymore. I've donated a lot of my DVDs to my local library, but I saw that you now have a PO box. I know that you're a huge Halloween and Friday the 13th fan. These are two franchises that I've become tired of. At least he's honest. Instead of donating these movies, I've decided to send them to you. Wow, that's really nice, Rob. I appreciate that. Um, as a collector, I know that you'll appreciate them. I'm also sending the Halloween 6 producer's cut and the Curse of Chucky Blu-rays, another franchise that I'm done with. <laughs> I love this letter. It's so honest. I'm sure that you, always, uh, you already have these, but giving them to you made sense. I see where you're coming from, and I appreciate that. I've also included a DVD copy of Virus with Jamie Lee Curtis. I hope that you haven't seen it. Uh, I remember it as being good. Sci-fi horror, I guess. The Friday the 13th remake DVD as well. I do hope for the fans of the new Halloween film is an instant classic. I'm sure that you do too. Of course. Thank you so much, Rob. I really appreciate the kind letter. And, uh... Another DVD, H2O. I, um, I just did Halloween 3 Revisited. Before that, I did H2O Revisited and uh, getting a lot of positive feedback on those, actually. So, really cool. Here is the, uh, the remake of uh, Friday the 13th, the killer cut. This is the unrated version. And here is the movie Virus. I've never seen this one, so this will be an interesting watch with Jamie Lee Curtis. And it uh, looks like it's got uh, William Baldwin in it, too. And Halloween Re Resurrection on DVD. You all know how I feel about Halloween Resurrection, but still gonna um, keep the DVD. It's nice. And then, this is nice. I actually have the two discs and Halloween Re Resurrection on DVD. 
You all know how I feel about Halloween Resurrection, but still gonna um, keep the DVD. It's nice. And then, this is nice. I actually have the two disc, limited edition, only 30,000 copies of uh, Halloween. And the only reason it's uh, two discs is because the second disc is the television version, which is in the new Blu-ray, I think. But uh, yeah, so this is the single disc edition. And I always love the cover art on this one. It's very simple, the Myers mask. And uh, yeah, I remember getting excited and buying this in the year 2000 when it came out. I love this book style art here. And I think, I don't know if this is DVD or Blu-ray, but I don't care because look at that freaking, look at that cover. Yeah, so this is DVD, but you know what? This is badass. Like, I much prefer this to that the new Blu-ray that came out because it doesn't have this style packaging. Uh, it looks like just regular uh, Amore case packaging. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but look at that. That is gorgeous. I love this. It includes all eight, the first eight Friday the 13th movies. That is badass, sir. Thank you very much. And then here's the good old universal double feature of Halloween 2 and 3. Yes, sir. Thank you, Rob. That was really cool, man. All right, now, here we go. The uh, Beth S. Let's see what she sent. This uh, It's pretty heavy, so I'm pretty excited. Okay, opening up, I see a letter first. It says, remember to always take it over the top. Um, Beth is a huge, huge fan of Over the Top. Like myself, I reviewed the movie actually for her. And uh, it was so fun revisiting that movie because that's the one that I, I grew up with. It says, happy belated birthday. So this is a nice birthday present. It says, here's another little box of randomness. I hope you enjoy. Thank you, Lee, for what you do. Your channel brings so much joy to many people, including myself. That was very nice, Beth. I appreciate that. Really, really sweet. Just so you guys know, I keep all these too. I keep all these letters. So... Because you guys mean so much to me. Okay, so I'm just digging in. I'm grabbing the first thing I, I can feel. It's a t-shirt. And she sent me that uh, VHS uh, Never never Forget t-shirt, which I've, I've wore a few times, actually. This is a shining t-shirt, red rum, with the, uh, the Overlook Hotel. It said, spirited since 1909. Really cool t-shirt. Next up, I feel some VHS goodness. Oh, this is cool. This is uh, Invasion Body Snatchers, The Invasion Continues. Now, I'm wondering if this is a sequel to Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I've seen this cover before, though. I've never seen this movie. More VHS goodness. Oh, American Psycho 2. I've never seen the sequel. And the, the, uh, the first one is one of my favorite movies. But uh, this one has um, uh, Mila Kunis. Yeah, this is uh, Mila Kunis, one of uh, her earlier movies, I think, uh, while she was doing that 70s show. I'm definitely going to check this one out, though. It's one of those movies I never hear anything about. I guess kind of like S. Darko. That's another one you don't hear too much about. Here is uh, Stephen King. Nice double, uh, double VHS set for Storm of the Century. And that's a movie that I haven't seen, so going to be some good VHS reviews coming out soon. Here is... One I, I love this. This is one, a really underrated Paul Verhoeven movie, Hollow Man with Kevin Bacon, Elizabeth Shue. Really great special effects in this one too. Um, a very young Rona Mitra is in this. Uh, and it's a, it's a solid movie. I like Kevin Bacon as a villain. And we have now she. I, I remember she asked me if I had this. This is the Star Wars: Phantom Menace on VHS. And I always like the covers to uh, the prequels. And uh, I don't. Ha I remember buying this when it first came out, and um, you know I sold all my VHS a long time ago, and then I started recollecting uh, the movies that I really want, especially like horror movies. But Star Wars too. I have the original trilogy in VHS, and uh, now it's nice to have this one. Oh wow, this is awesome! This is the Dark Knight trilogy DVD set. So it's, I got I got the Friday the 13th DVD set, and now I got the Dark Knight trilogy, and it's got that um, it's like a lithographic type cover, a holographic type cover, and you got this really nice collector's book, Joker on the back, uh, pretty much all the villains are on the back, and then you got Batman on the front, really cool, and then yeah, awesome. To me, the Dark Knight trilogy is one of the greatest trilogies ever made. Uh, I've reviewed all three movies, and. I love all three. They're, they're great. The Dark Knight is one of my favorite movies ever. Oh, wow. So she sent me a cap 
and I already see what it is. Let me show you guys this. Check this out. This cap is from over the top. This is the Lincoln Hawks cap. Lincoln Hawk. And that's the cap he wears in the movie. I have a massively big head, so I'm gonna have to loosen the size up a bit. You see the secret is I turn the hat around like this and I become a machine, like a truck. So Beth included a computer cable in here. Now, I don't know if she left that in there by accident. If you need this back, let me know. I will send it back to you. I got some playing cards here. Topps uh, Fright Flicks. It's nine cards and one sticker with Freddy on the front. Um, we got T2 Terminator, five stickers. This is Fleer 1995 Real Monsters. I've seen these characters, but I don't, I don't remember them, if that makes sense. And then I got some like, uh, some little Legos here. And I think they're like horror Legos. But then I got this one last thing here. It says, not playable, but displayable. So let's see what this is. I already see what it is, I think, and it's, uh, wow, this is freaking awesome. A motion picture soundtrack of Rocky IV. Look at that. Look at the back. That is insane. Oh, wow. I remember when this movie came out in theaters and going over to a friend's house and um, his, the, his mother was playing it on TV. And uh, I don't know where I'm going with this story, but I was just so into Rocky back then, you know? <laughs> look at that. The record, look at that record. That's freaking awesome. Holy crap. Now she says it's not playable, but displayable. And that's enough. That is gonna go right there in front of the poltergeist. Wow, that's insane. Thank you so much, Beth. That's awesome. Guys, I got a lot of cleaning up to do. Thank you so much for all that stuff. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Beth. Uh, yeah. Be sure to come over to Killer Flicks, where we talk horror all day and every day. And on Fridays, we do Free For All Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd, and now Stardust. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And drum Dumb out.